Woodlands Development Group is a nonprofit community development corporation. We engage in a variety of different community-based real estate development and planning. We uh, help a lot of small towns in our area work on what we call community facilities, so a lot of parks and trails and community centers. Everything we do starts with some kind of a community conversation. In this case, we did a lot of work with the Bealington Revitalization Committee, and they had identified their vacant downtown buildings as a high priority. And through that process, this building, the Golden Rule, came to the top of the list. We're in the Golden Rule building here in Bealington, West Virginia, and we've been working now for almost a year on renovating and rehabilitating this building. The building was actually built back in 1902 by Mr. Shin and his brother. They opened it up as the Valley Grocery Company, and it was basically a wholesale grocer. Then in about 1929, uh, he bought his brother out, and they renamed it as the uh, Golden Rule Company. And then it became more of a department store. That's actually what helped them kind of weather the Great Depression. After his death in the 60s, his wife Wanda and two sons took over and they switched it over to primarily a furniture store. Probably the best memories I have. First job out of high school. Only made like $2.47 an hour and had more money then than I do now. To my knowledge, that's the one thing I take to my grave. I was the last known certified working water-powered elevator operator. So when we took on this project, you know, we knew that we were going to do some apartments upstairs um, and we wanted to keep this first floor for the benefit of the community. And of course, the water powered elevator is probably the most significant feature within the building itself. I mean, this whole project is really about kind of preserving history and, you know, repurposing it. the only one known to exist. Uh, we know that it was produced by a company in Cincinnati. We think probably no earlier than 1915, but it could have been sometime in the 1930s. But it is a very unique elevator representing turn of the century industrial development. It's really the same period of development as the trains that are right outside the building. And so it made perfect sense to us that we preserve the elevator as much as we could. Back in the 90s, it was the last working water-powered elevator of that type in the state of West Virginia, and one of only two or three in the whole United States. Now, there are several other working water elevators, but none of them with this big, long cylinder. How did you used to run it? Well, all we have to do is basically turn the valve on, which pulls the cables down here. These big wheels, that's what lifts the platform up. Then when you reverse the cables, it allows it, the water flow to reverse and then allows them to back right off. The renovation project included turning the second and third floors into an apartment building. So we had to remove the elevator. Can we actually, can we even do this with the ceiling height that we have? Can we get the pulley down at this level and still be able to operate the car? This was somewhat diagrammatical, but it showed the the main pulley being reinstalled over some timbers. That's what we're working on today, is getting that control pulley put in. The pulleys and the cables are now back installed, and that's what you can see here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fill the cylinder up and pull the car just you know a couple inches up, and then the car will drop. Okay, I hear water moving.
Ready? And the bottom's fill. Yep, go ahead. This is a part of our, of our industrial development that, that we want to preserve and we want to showcase and feature. This will be the only time in my professional career that I'll be working on a historic 100-year-old water-powered elevator. These projects are possible. The communities do have the wherewithal to retain their history, to contribute to the development of their downtowns and their, their civic community. I love the idea that we learn something new every day. And, uh, and yeah, so this is, this is a beauty. It's a real gem and it's a wonderful resource for this building and for the community. So you guys want to ride it down? Sure. Okay, here we go. Ha, <laughs> ha,